Hello again. This rousing song by the High Kings celebrates the famous Irish pub. This is actually song number 136 in our ever-expanding series on lessons on songs popular in Ireland. I put the link uh, in the description below if you want to check out the list and see if your favourite songs are there. And if not, maybe let me know in the comments and I'll try and get around to, to your favourites. I'm playing this song in the key of B minor. Now B minor is a bar chord and can prove difficult for some people so to get around that I'm using the capo on fret 2. That allows me to use the chord shapes from the A, a minor scale. So I can use the A minor chord shapes but because of the capo everything is pushed up one whole tone. So when I play the A minor chord it's really B minor. If I play the C chord, it's really it's the C chord shape that's really the D chord. Um, the capo, like I said, pushes everything up one whole tone. So with these chord shapes, we just have four chords to look at, and they are A minor shape, C major shape, G major shape, and E minor shape. Now the strum pattern is a great strum pattern to play once you master it. And this is a great song to practice your different uh, strumming techniques. It's in 2-4 time, so we've got two beats in each bar. So we've got down, down, up, down, up. One, two, one, two. For the one beat is two down strums. And for the two beat is up, down, up. This might take you a little bit of getting used to, but stick with it because it's definitely worth it. And I'll include a slower tempo file of the song for practice purposes in the resource section. Okay, we'll have a quick look at the tabs I use for the intro. Now this intro is actually repeated between the chorus and the following verses if you want to use it. Again, of course, it's optional. So looking at the tabs here now, we're starting on the third string, fret 11. And I'm playing that with my second finger, my middle finger. I'm going on to the second string now, 10th fret, followed by the 12th fret, back to the 10th fret. One pick for each uh, note. It's better really, if you're staying on one string, to use down-up picks. Move down now. Next we move to the 9th fret of that 3rd string played with my 1st finger. Then we're moving to the 4th string where I play the 12th fret followed by the 9th fret. So from the start to there. Now we have a technique, the pull-off technique, so I'm going to leave my first finger anchored there on the ninth fret and I'm going to pull off, pick the, the put my third finger on the um, eleventh fret, pick that note and pull off my finger. So that's a pull-off technique. Down now to the fifth string, twelfth fret, and back to that ninth fret on the fourth string for three picks, back to the fifth string twelfth, and back to that ninth on the fourth. So nice and slowly from the start to the end. There's a short instrumental or solo played before the last verse. And um, I'll do a separate lesson on this and I'll include the downloadable tabs as usual. 